Uh, so today is uh, Monday, Monday, October 2. Uh, so yesterday I went down to the water's edge to sunbathe. I'm trying to get rid of the white square that's on my legs, right? Where my legs meet my hips and stuff. Because I wore short shorts all summer long, but now I'm wearing a bikini bathing suit. So now there's like a white patch there. Um, so, and yesterday when I said I have audience, I always have a fucking audience. I don't understand. Nobody ever uses that park, ever, ever. Uh, you know what I mean? Every single time I go there, I've been there like three times, people... <sighs> ah! Fuck. Fucking bees. People come out of the fucking woodworks. Like one lady... Uh, uh, I don't even know. I would say clearly lesbian, wearing the fucking lumber jacket. Comes down and stands right on the water's edge while I'm lying there, um, singing. And she stands there, like, three times I open my eyes, she's still there. I'm like, oh, great, you know. Anyway, yesterday, like, three guys in pickups. It's like they go to the neighbor's house. Can I borrow your kid for a minute? And then run down to the fucking thing, tell the kid to go play in the park while they can sit there and eyeball me. Anyway, it's kind of ridiculous. It's kind of giggly, <laughs> actually. Um, but it's kind of ridiculous. It gets sickening after a while. I mean, I realize I'm a star, and I realize I'm incognito. Um, look a boozy can. Um, but leave me the fuck alone. I only want to be by myself. So anyway, today, oh my god. So today I'm walking uh, to my friend's house. Uh, she's 3.4, or 3.3 kilometers away. And, um, it's nice out. I don't have anything to do whatsoever. Uh, last night I tried to upload three videos. I got in trouble for the internet. Um, apparently, since I've been there... I've used 92% of her monthly allowance. And so she has 22 days left before it rolls over again. And already I use 92% of it. So I, I'm no longer connected to the internet until I get my own. Uh, and I said to her, what would you have me do? You know, sit in my room and do nothing? Because literally there's nothing to do except for the internet. So, you know. You know, if you don't want to see your old man fucking swinging from the rafters on a short rope, you know, allow him internet access. Anyway, it's ridiculous, but it's kind of, I understand. So anyway, I was like, don't worry about it. Once you go over, when you do go over, mine will be hooked up on Wednesday. And I'm unlimited, so you can just dip into mine. It's like, whatever. Anyway, uh, there's a spot. There's a spot in this cornfield. I don't know. I don't know yards or anything like that. I don't know. Quarter mile away, I guess. Um, where two trees are in the middle of the cornfield. So I thought, it's the perfect spot to sunbathe nude. Literally, I could walk through the corn, use my camera above my head like that to see where the trees are. Because it's like two way out in the middle. And the, obviously, there's no corn at the trees, right? Uh, so I could totally go over there and be naked in the cornfield. And I thought, that, that's perfect spot. I mean, everybody's lazy. They can't see me from the road. Nobody will get out of their car and walk the quarter mile uh, to the trees. I am totally isolated there. <coughs> oh, I shaved. I'm not sure if you can see me. There I am. I don't look nearly as red today. I don't know what the hell's with this camera, to be honest with you. Uh, I like it. I, I mean, I like the phone. Because it's new. <laughs> you know... What other reason would I have to like it or not like it? Whatever. Anyway, I'm probably about halfway to my friend's house, listening to music on the side of the road, drinking not purple water, whatever it is, berry granite. <laughs> yeah, so if you can't pronounce it, don't eat it. And certainly don't put it in your mouth. And let me tell you, when you're expecting grape and you get the fucking pomegranate in your mouth, and a spitter's a quitter. I know fucking spitter. I'm so, you know, after the hour and a half of, you know, the face cramp, I fucking want that prize. That's all of my hard work, or that's the fucking reward for all the hard work that you did, you know? Excuse the face cramp, but god damn it was worth it. <laughs> Such a fag. <laughs> you know what's funny too, is I can talk so freely about everything. Everything. E everything at all. Nothing embarrasses me, really, uh, other than people call me stupid. That kind of embarrasses me. Or, um, you know, things that have to do with money. Don't call me low life. You know, don't call me fucking a loser, because I'm not. It's just some of the things like that. 
Uh, because the world revolves around money. And money, don't ask me why, because money doesn't make you smart, it doesn't make you sexy, it doesn't make you happy. Uh, and frankly, I'm sick of it. I don't need it to be smart, sexy, and funny. But everybody around me seems to have to have it. I don't want it. All I want is a little, a couple bucks here and there to go have coffee. Because uh, then I, you know, close my eyes and I drink that fucking coffee. And I'm in the Bahamas. And I'm in wherever I need to be in my brain. But that's all, you know, coffee and internet. Once in a while I'm lonely. I feel like I want a boyfriend. I can't have one. Literally. I, uh, 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 for one, they don't make armor that uh, thick enough for a gentleman to wear to be near me. Uh, I already... Uh, uh, nobody cares. Nobody wants to put forth effort. Nobody wants to, you know, break down my cold, greasy exterior uh, to find the warm, loving person that's inside because there is one in there, except for I can't give that person away anymore because... I just... I poor pity the one who actually says he's interested genuinely and wants to be with me. Hang on, boy, because there's going to be a fucking ride for you. But you know what? If you hang in to the end, uh, the reward is well worth it. Like I said that to Mike when we first got together. Because had he no told me the truth, that he was just a come and go, I totally would have treated it differently. But no, uh, 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 he's like, you're not scaring me away. I'm locked in. And it was a joke because I'm like, are you locked in? When he said he was locked in, literally, that made me feel in my brain and my heart, I can make mistakes. He's not going to abandon me. And yeah, he did. Uh, it was all lies. The whole relationship was lies. Lies, lies, lies. All he could do was use me for everything he could possibly do. Beat down my self-esteem and make sure that I wasn't attracted to anybody because he wasn't attracted to me. And make sure that I didn't, you know, alter his life. Whatever. You know, so I even accused him of, you know, you're only gay inside the house. You know, what the fuck is going on? Anyway, it's kind of ridiculous. Oh, look, a four-wheeler. Totally country when you can drive a four-wheeler down the road, right? So, anyway, uh, I forgot where I was. Something bad mouth and Mike. He's the reason my life is the way it is. He's the reason why I am broken. He's the reason why I don't feel I'll ever be able to love somebody. Yet, I feel like I want to. Yet, I can't. He, uh... destroyed that person. Um, literally. He destroyed that person. I can't even go back. I can't fix it. I never got any closure. I never even got an, a story or an, an explanation as to what the fuck happened. Just he's a selfish, greedy, black-hearted oh, son of a bitch. And now I treat every person that I encounter as a greedy, black-hearted, cold son of a bitch. And that makes me arrogant. Because now, in order for me to maintain a self-esteem or maintain self-worth in my head or uh, you know I'm attractive uh, all this other stuff that I say to myself I have to say it to myself because one day you know what I mean uh, all that shit comes uh, uh, randomly I look in the mirror Ugh, look at my hair gross gross like last night I cut it uh, and I got a big chunk missing out the side of it by the way uh, good thing I wear a hat but you know today I looked in my bathing suit in the mirror Ooh, I'm feeling sexy I look sexy you know what I mean I'd, I'd, I'd do that for a dollar <laughs> Look, these barns are um, solar barns. They built them to tap into the grid. Uh, they probably make pretty good money, I imagine. I don't know how it works, but I'm sure it works beneficial to be beneficial to the owner of the property. To say, you can put this on my land and contribute to the national power grid. This is like 10 minutes long. <laughs> I have no life. Literally, I have no life. I just sexy walking down the road in a bag in the country. Like totally in the country. <sighs> I don't know. I just said yesterday that I'm like, you know what? Since I've been here, nobody drives down your street. I go sit on the front porch drinking my coffee and my bathing suit. 85 cars come down the fucking road. I even seen the one three times. Uh, I said to um, the dude I'm living with, I'm like, what's the with, I go, there's 500 people in the fucking town. 497 of them have already driven by me. He's like, I was going to ask, or I was going to say, I hear an awful lot of cars out front that we don't normally hear. I'm like, I know, eh? It's like, fuck. You know, there's a new face in town. 
And so you better drive by him 1,800 times, make him feel uncomfortable to run inside the house. Actually, you know what? Nobody feels makes me feel uncomfortable. I totally wear my bathing suit walking through the town. I don't give a fuck. I'm a man. So I got junk. Do you know what I mean? Like, grow the fuck up. Frankly, if you got the fucking self-esteem and the self-worth to do it, do it. Don't worry about fucking Brenda over there with the ugly dog. Because she's fat. You know what I mean? Like, because they're so insecure in their own bodies that they think that this is the way society should be run so that everybody is exactly the same. Well, fuck you. That's why people stare. Literally, because they see self-esteem bursting at my fucking seams. Do you know what I mean? Like, they see... They see my head and my fucking ass. They see how confident I am. And they're drawn to it like fucking maggots, believe it or not, because that's... You know, they don't talk to me. Just creep me in the fucking bushes and wish that you had what I have. A dude on Grinder today asked me... Or says, sorry, I said to him, oh, his fucking profile is stupid, stupid. I'm like, what's the fucking point? Anyway, he's like, you're not very lucky, are you? Because my name is Lucky. And I go, no, not at all. I said, if I didn't know, um, if I didn't have bad luck, I wouldn't even know what the word meant. And then I thought about it. Oh, no, I am very lucky, actually. I should be dead by now. Do you know what I mean? I'm lucky that I was able to survive the walk from Vancouver. I was able to survive the destruction of what Mike did to me. You know what I mean? Like, I can't say that I bounced. Perhaps I did bounce. I bounced this way and shot off to the left. You know? <laughs> Free ball went off to the left. Um, <laughs> I love free balling, by the way. So, you know, people sometimes they bounce and they bounce straight up and down to do the same mistake twice and over and over again. I'm not. I went, boing, psh, and shot that way. And so, I don't even know. I don't even know. I'm bored just talking to myself. Blah, blah, blah. Anyway, I've heard the music a million times. Way, way over that hill. It's not a big hill, but you know, whatever it is, is my friend's house. Holy shit, it's 12 minutes. Okay, I gotta go. I gotta go. Bye-bye.